solve the simplification problem so you should know the square root and the cube root uh, in this class i will tell you how to take uh, how to find the square root uh, for a particular uh, numbers uh, first you should know the uh, 1 to 10 uh, square roots okay uh, 1 4 9 16 25 and you should know the unit digits 6 5 6 9 4 1 you got it what i'm telling you should know the unit digits you should remember the unit digit it will be useful to find the square root okay uh, first i will tell you the how easy method okay uh, you can easily find the square root for uh, fives unit digit five uh, it means 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 95 you can easily find square root for these numbers okay because it is very easy uh, in the unit digit is 5 right okay 5 square is 25 25 here the in the tens digit you having 1 right what is the next number to 1 2 right okay here 2 only will come 1 into 2 2 like that manner for 25 you take 5 as unit digit and uh, 5 square is 25 okay in the tens digit you are having 2 okay next to 2, 2 is 3 right 3 into 2 6 you clear here there you are having in the tens digit you are having 2 uh, the next number to 2 is 3 you have to multiply that number with 2 okay 3 into 2 6 like that manner uh, 5 25 3 next to 3 is 4 4 3 is a 12 okay and 25 next number is 5 5 4s are 20 is it clear like that it will goes okay you can easily find it if this comes if, if this number comes means you can easily uh, find the square root okay next for example we can take a um, square root uh, for uh, for example consider 36 what is 36 square 36 square what will, will be 6 plus 36 remaining 3 uh, 39 remaining 3 Okay, one two nine six. Uh, if they ask means in the exam, if they ask what is the uh, square root of uh, uh, one two nine six, we know uh, now that it is thirty six. But uh, how to find? I will tell you now. Uh, here one two nine six, right? First, you should take last two digit. Okay, in the square root, you should take last two digit. And uh, what is the unit number? Here it is 6, right? Unit number is last digit. It is uh, 6, okay? You have to compare this with this uh, 10 square root, okay? Uh, here it is 6. Uh, here, where it is 6 come? In the 4th and the 6th. In the 4 square equal to 16. 6 square equal to uh, 36, okay? These are all common. Common. 4 and 6. 4. And the 6. Is it clear? In the unit digit, 6 is common, right? So you have to write 4 and 6. Because we are having our unit digit as 6. Okay. In the fourth table and the 6, 4 square and the 6 square. You have to take. And then next is 12. Okay. Uh, where it comes in, in, in this 10 table, 12, uh, where it is coming means. It is coming in between 3 and 4. Okay, here 9 and 16. Okay, it will be in between 3 and 4 only 12, right? Is it clear? We should take the uh, smaller value 3. Okay, it will come in between 3 and 4, but we should take the smaller value only 3. Okay. Here we got 3, but we don't know whether it is 34 or 36. We don't know. 
okay in order to find uh, whether it is 34 or uh, 36 you know the value of uh, 35 you can easily find uh, 35 square right as i have told you now 35 square what is 35 square 5 square equal to 25 here 3 after 3 is 4 4 3 is a 12 1 2 2 5 okay what value we are having now 1 2 9 6 so 34 won't come because 35 square is uh, 1 2 2 5 it will be higher than 35 only no 35 square only no because you are having 1 2 9 6 so obviously the answer is 36 is it clear by this way only you can find the square root is it clear i will give you another example take a square root for a, um, 81 you take okay what is 81 square root uh, one nine. If they ask you to find the square root for 6 by 6 1 means what you have to do? Nothing. The same thing you have to do. First, you should take the last two digit. Okay. Um, the last digit, uh, the unit digit is 1, right? Okay. The unit digit is 1. So, you have to check where 1 comes. Okay. In the unit digit. In the 1 time, 1 square equal to 1. In the 1, it will come. And also in 9 square equal to 81. 1 is coming, right? In the unit digit, 1 is coming. So, you have to take 1 and 9. 1 and 9. Okay. And the next one is 65. Oh, where it comes 65 in the in this uh, square table? Between 8 and 9. 8 square and 9 square only 64, 65 is coming. Here it is 64 and 81. So, 65 will come between 8 and 9. And we have to take the smaller value. 8 only we have to take. Okay. We have to take smaller one. 8 is it clear but we don't know whether it is 81 or 89 we don't know how we can find we can easily find the table of 85 85 square we can easily find what is 85 square that's equal to 25 5 square equal to 25 and uh, after 8 is 9 8 nines are 72 72 okay what value we are having 6561 obviously 89 won't come because it is higher than this. So, 81 will be the answer. Is it clear? This is how you can easily find the square root and you can easily solve the simplification problem. Next, I will tell you about the how to find the cube root value. Now, I, I will tell you about the how to find the cube root. Uh, cube root is very easy compared to the square root. Okay. Uh, here, I am having one example. 4096 okay like that 4096 here it is cube root so you have to take the three digit last three digit in the square root you have to take last two digit in the cube root you have to take last three digit okay and you have to find the same as same as uh, square root you should check the unit digit okay here it is unit digit is six right and you have to write the uh, 1 to 10 cube roots okay you have to write the 1 to 10 cube roots and you should know the unit digit you should remember the unit digit okay and uh, here our unit digit is 6 right and uh, here where it will come 6 in the 6 cube only no 2 1 6 so you have to write 6 here the unit digit is 6 so you have to take 6 okay is it clear you don't have you don't get uh, two values as like uh, in the square root you will get uh, two numbers in the cube root you you will get only one number so it is very easy for you okay to find okay and the next one what we are having we are having four only okay uh, where it will come in the up to 10 cube root uh, where four will come in between one and two right here one here eight so it will come in between four okay so you have to take the smaller value only one so 16 is the answer
16 cube equal to 4096. This is the answer. Okay. This is how you have you have to find the cube root. I will give you another example. If they ask you to find the cube root for this means how you can find the same process 373248 okay you should take the last three digit 248 okay and you have to take the unit digit 8 and you have to check it with this column where 8 will come it will come in the 2 right 2 cube equal to 8 and the unit digit is 8 it won't come in the other 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 uh, cube roots and you have to write the two okay and you have to take the other three uh, rest of the things you have to take three seven three where it will come three seven three in between seven and eight right here three four three and here five one two it will come in between seven and eight and we have to take the smaller value seven so seventy two cube equal to three seven three two four eight this is how you have to find the cube root okay uh, if you know these uh, uh, numbers clearly in your mind means uh, you you can easily find the cube root you can fastly do it okay so you have to remember these uh, things if uh, what is the cube root for a uh, seven cube means you should know three four three like that you should know okay then only you can solve the problems easily okay you just remember these things okay you no need to write uh, every time next in the simplification we can see about the powers okay uh, here i gave you some of the examples uh, if the variables of common means for example here a and here also a is it clear a a so if the variables are common means we can uh, add or multiply or divide or multi or uh, subtract the powers okay depends upon the uh, signs in the middle okay depends upon the sign we can uh, do some of the calculation uh, in the power okay i will tell you now here a power m plus a power n okay here the variables are same so you need to here there is a sign plus sign so you need to multiply the powers equal to a power m into n is it clear and the next one is a power m minus a power n here the sign is minus so you need to divide the power a power m divided by n okay like that a power m into a power n here the sign is uh, multiplication so you need to add the powers a power m plus n is it clear and then a power m divided by a power n equal to a power m minus 1 m minus n because here it is division so you need to uh, uh, subtract the powers okay is it clear these are all the basics of a uh, simplification